the Objective News Network, the national debt, crisis or not. Hello, this is John Nasha reporting for the Objective News Network. So let's begin today by asking ourselves, what do we mean by the term national debt? The national debt is the sum of a nation's annual budget deficits offset by any surpluses. A deficit occurs when the government spends more money than it raises in revenue. To finance its budget deficit, the government borrows money by selling debt obligations to a variety of different investors. Why is the national debt important? A nation saddled with debt will have less to invest in its own future. Rising debt means fewer economic opportunities for Americans. Rising debt also reduces business investment and slows down economic growth. It increases expectations of higher rates of inflation and erosion of confidence in the U.S. dollar. Is national debt a crisis? America's debt has risen massively since the beginning of the 21st century, as politicians from both sides of the aisle have made a habit of borrowing money to finance wars, tax cuts for Americans, expanded federal spending on health care, care for baby boomers, and emergency measures to help the nation endure two debilitating recessions. Here's just a few factoids. The national debt has increased under every presidential administration since Herbert Hoover. The United States has raised its debt ceiling at least 90 times in the 25th century. It has never been reduced. Over the past 100 years, U.S. federal debt has increased from $408 billion in 1922 to $30.93 trillion with a T in 2022. In terms of raw dollars, the country with the highest debt burden in the world is unquestionably the United States, whose national debt is more than twice that of any other country on the globe. For several years, the nation's debt has been bigger than its gross domestic product, which was $26.13 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2022. American household debt hit a record of $16.9 trillion at the end of 2022, up a whopping $2.75 trillion since 2019, according to the Federal Reserve. So what has caused the exponential increase in the national debt? The biggest and often bipartisan drivers of debt, have been the federal responses to two sharp economic downturns, the 2008 financial crisis and the 2020 pandemic recession. What do we do, if anything? Potential repercussions of the debt ceiling include a downgrade by credit rating agencies, increased borrowing costs for businesses and homeowners alike, and a drop-off in consumer confidence that could shock the U.S. financial markets and tip the economy into a deeper recession. So can the U.S. national debt ever be paid off? Well, the answer is yes, but it will mean sacrifice, and it will take decades to accomplish. What we need is a national strategy. It requires bold action by Congress and the willingness of the people to accept at least some degree of economic austerity to pay back $1 million at a rate of $1 per second would take you 11 and a half days. To pay back $1 billion at a rate of $1 per second would take you 32 years. To pay back 
$1 trillion at a rate of $1 per second would take you, yes, 31,688 years. How do we lower the national debt? Well, first, we have to find new ways to promote non-inflationary growth. Unless there is an increase in economic activity commensurate with the amount of money that is created, printing money to pay off the debt would make inflation only worse. There are a number of methods to reduce the U.S. national debt that go beyond simply raising taxes and cutting discretionary spending. One of the most controversial would be to open the nation's borders to immigration in order to kickstart entrepreneurship and drive non-inflationary consumption. Bailouts and debt defaults can also help a government solve a debt problem, but these approaches have notable drawbacks as well. We can do things like issue debt with bonds, interest rate manipulation, institute spending cuts, yes, raise taxes, and consider national debt bailouts. No matter what your political persuasion, it seems the time has come for our political leaders to bite the bullet, come up with a strategy, and implement a long-term plan. Kicking the can down the road does not appear to be a viable option anymore. It is what it is for April 25th, 2023. This is John Nasha reporting for the Objective News Network. Thank you for watching. We will see you the next time.